maybe if you know bit of technical knowledge or xql maybe you can easily extract all the masters and reports from any database if they are allowing otherwise if there is security controls if you use the credentials you can extract from any applications same thing also available in tally sql but there is no update option we can extract if you want to update you have to post from back end that is the option in tally there is some limitations but using sql query we can extract all the data uh, tables from uh, tally first i'll show you how to see how to extract or how to connect uh, ledger master to excel maybe this function is available uh, more uh, after 2010 version if you are not if it is not available maybe you need to download uh, power pivot add on from office uh, uh, website then it will automatically uh, come these are all the features okay otherwise if you are office 365 edition if you are using it will come automatically okay so here from data tab there is a group get external data here there is a option from other sources from other sources there is a option from odbc for odbc there is one option in tally if it is enable only then we can able to extract from external applications here advanced see from gateway of tally f12 configurations advanced configurations here the first section only client server configuration here we need to enable both and odbc as yes. port you can give anything the same thing should only whenever you connect from third party application you need to give this port by default use i recommend 9000 only if this is more high security is required you can change something else this is the first primary connection if you allow from tally application then only you can able to extract data from third party applications like excel applications or other applications so data tab new query there from other sources we selected odbc in odbc it is showing some options including tally odbc select that one from here there is a advanced option here maybe uh, i'll show you how to extract is a select statement using select statement if you know tables you can extract a uh, table with field names otherwise if you want to check complete tables you need to use star star means it will give all the fields result here i am not using star just i know the uh, table names i am using table name name comma dollar parent comma i am just fetching name and parent and primary group from ledger table this is table it will connect from tally and it will fetch data and it will show you Give me a minute. Those are open sometimes. Would we see error will come? things is proper just a minute something
something added space is something extra that's why that not fetched okay anyhow you can see this code it's a select statement name parent primary group and closing balance i fetch it from tally then we can connect to excel See here we can able to see complete ledger master with closing balances. If you want to add more columns, we can add. I'll show you how to add. Why I'm doing this one? I for creating without any macros. Now we are able to get data to Excel, but without using any other softwares and macros. Now we are trying to create ledgers and altering ledgers. I'll show you after this one. See here, I want to see GST numbers of these names, these parties. For that, the tag name is party GSTN. Suppose I want to see the state also. For state, the tag name is state name. I'll show you how to get these tag names. See, I extracted party name and state name also. Then we'll connect to Excel. See, there is no party names. There is no state names. Okay. Now we'll create, we'll update GST numbers to some selected parties. I show you this is very beautiful and very simple steps. If you follow, you can update all the masters without any macros, any softwares. See, there are around eight customers. Now we'll try to update party GSTNs. For this, Tally has given some references. Maybe if you want to follow that references, I have given a link. I'll share you this uh, file also. Maybe if you click this link, it will relate to that page. I'll open and show you. See here, there are uh, Tally accepted formats. They have given complete material. Maybe if you follow, you can do more and more on this one. Okay, just tally will understand if you post in this method only tally can accept the data and it will insert into tables if you want to create or alter. Okay, first we'll see uh, to update the party GSTNs. Anyhow, we have a data. These are all parties. Okay. Something I'm changing some numbers. Okay. Then just fill down. This is just formula only. This is tally understanding format. I'll show you after constructing this complete uh, data. Only thing now the first step one we identified the customers which are all not having GSTNs. Almost in this database, all the customers are not having GST numbers. Okay. First step one we found the customers list. Second one there is small method to construct tally understanding format. The step one you just copy this data. You need to have this data with the GST numbers. Then we will share you this template also. This, just drag it. If you are following me, just same follow me. If you have any doubts, you ask me. Otherwise, the record also we will share you after this session. Okay, this is just a, a, a concatenated formula only. This is tally understanding format. We added this to. Then how to convert this to XML and how to import to tally. Why I'm telling XML? Tally only accept XML format only. JSON and other formats it won't accept. 
Okay, just will open Notepad. Maybe if you have any small technical knowledge, you can easily understand. Otherwise, you just practice two, three times, you can understand easily. See this one. I'm adding here. Then I'll explain you this format also once again. See, this is header, this is footer we are calling. Okay, Tally will accept this format only. I don't want to explain this in deeper. Maybe if you are a technical person, you just uh, put it into somewhere uh, in uh, XML format structure, you can understand. Otherwise, I'll show you here only. I don't want to say something else. Okay, yes, please. See, this is complete closing tag. Within this tag, our data is there. Second one, headers. This header means it's importing of data. Quickly, I'm telling you, suppose if you're not uh, technical, maybe you can understand. This is a header part. Header part means tally will understand import or export. Then body of data. Within the body, we need to uh, give that import tag. Is it import or export again? Then request description. Is a master or watches or transactions. Then request data. Request data means our uh, required data. Here, this is the tally understanding for format. Here, ledger name, I, I given something, maybe, you know, uh, customer's list, then action is alter. Maybe I'll show you how to create also. Then I need to update only partition. If you want to update partition, PAN number, some other contact details also, we can add that one. Just then this is my closing part. Maybe if you see, if I select here, it is taking this complete structure. Okay. Okay, this one I'm just saving it to masters new dot XML. We need to save it into XML. Okay, it is saved into F drive. The extension you need to copy, then go to import of masters, then paste this path and modify with the new data. Accounts ledges alter. We'll see all the ledges from here and we'll refresh. See, it is sorry. All sundry letters are having GST numbers. See, two things we learned from here. We connected data from Tally to Excel using ODBC, or you can call M language also. It will record M, it will record in a data in uh, it will convert data through M language only. Uh, first, when we connect uh, connected, there is no party GST. Now we updated just using some uh, small Excel uh, formulas. Just we use only and formula. I, I, there is no nothing is there in that. We just converted to this format tally understanding format. We imported it. After that, if you refresh, it is giving the updated information. Okay, this is what uh, we can alter. Suppose you can ask how to create with the same method. I'll show you that one also. Just only thing, as I mentioned, Tally has some specified formats and understanding language. You need to put data into that format. Then only it will import. For this, there are many methods. You can use another uh, uh, scripts like VBA, VBS, .NET, some other languages. IR, <laughs> there are many languages. You can use and convert into this method and you can import it. Without any language knowledge, just using Excel method, we can do to convert to XML and we can import to tally. This is what I'm trying to do from here. Okay. Next, just I'll show you quickly for two things. Okay. 
just I created two. There is some tally understanding format. I added that one. Maybe you already received this template. You just, if you want, you just refer this one. Okay, same thing again, open notepad. First, we need to do this headers. It is standard. There is no incremental in the standard header format. In create only, if you have multiple edges, you can create. Just I'm creating these two edges. Add these two lines. You copy below. Then go to footer and copy and paste it. See, there is action before you, if you move. Maybe we altered. Now it is create. Okay. Then the parent, wherever you want, you can add it. It's a simple format. Okay. You can convert it to XML. Save. It will ask when you are saving. Create ledger dot XML. You need to give that extension. F drive only. I'm just saving in F drive. Okay. Just take create ledger with extension. Again, go to import. See here in gateway of tele import masters, masters. Just paste the path, create. Or you can use ignore duplicates if there is any duplicates, no duplicates. We'll go and check that ledgers are available or not. What are ledgers we try to create? Kiran KS and Moral AP. Okay, instead of going and checking a tally, you just refresh here, you will get that one. That is Kiran KS is there. Moral AP also is there. Any doubts up to here? Three. Things we did as of now, number one, we connected for ledger masters to Excel. Then we altered and we updated our GST numbers into uh, so parties master. Then we created some parties through Excel, just using very simple steps. Any doubts up to here? Okay, there is one comment from Hoysa since we already. So Oracle means are using EBS or Oracle Fusion, which version you're using? Is it desktop version or cloud version? This is depending on, but anyhow, anything, if it is a cloud or desktop version, no issue. Uh, Oracle is a, maybe, you know, there is more securities. They need to allow, they need to create a uh, uh, link for connecting to a third party application. There are many methods. One is uh, direct method and indirect method. Indirect method is API. Maybe you can ask API, it is a secured method. When it is going through secured method, they will give response. They can, you can connect with anywhere. In Excel also, you have a header format. You can request uh, from Excel also. Is my answer clear, sir? Okay, next we'll move to next topic. Thank you, sir. IGST number is wrong. Tally gives alert. Uh, will give alert or not? No, okay, very good question, sir. This is very interesting question. Uh, we are updating from backend and we are inserting into tables. That's why you cannot uh, get any alerts it won't give it won't throw also any errors it will whatever you give in data table it will go and sit into the table we are forcibly inserting data into that field but if you try to uh, do from front end the application has that functionality that will give alert from back end, if you do any, uh, this kind of activities, you can't get this kind of control. So you have to validate before migrating data and import. Otherwise, again, you need to delete and you need import. There is only one option. 
otherwise through customization there are some options we can uh, create some uh, controls and we can put into system when you are trying to import same similar like gst numbers the system will control it will uh, to won't accept wrong numbers but in the direct method there is no option so can you please share the note for this so is it intent to send nagraj has sent message okay you are asking notes okay okay so there is a recording uh, we will share you record you can follow that record and steps you will understand you just practice one or two times you will get easily it is very very simple steps you can get the results or beyond that if you need any help uh, maybe uh, we will present you the, we will share you my email id uh, company email id you can connect to the email id someone will connect with you and they will help you sir thank you okay we'll move to next part of today's tech session yeah next is very interesting report it is also similar like ledger's connection we did right it is similar to ledger's connection i'm just sharing it to okay our next topic is very interesting uh, topic okay if you are following you just follow if you have any doubts you ask me through chat we will uh, clarify your doubts otherwise you can record watch again i'm telling you we will share you the recordings okay already shared this soap request also i'll show you Uh, you no need to write again and again codes or if you have some knowledge on coding you can alter this code you can get whatever you want yeah just to extract purchase report there is a small tally understanding format i'll show you how it will come the purchase report to excel just only thing i'll tell you over you uh, suppose if you are seeing every day sales or purchases or some ledger monitoring or bank account monitoring you no need to go to tally and open uh, suppose if you have five companies there is a, that is one also one beautiful option if you have multiple companies multiple company bank accounts if you want to see in single place one summary is possible using the m language with the same method just in excel if you open excel in sheet wise all the dashboards in dynamically just only your job is to refresh button like this refresh you can see all the group companies bank statement bank balances or ot balances or investments or sales purchases or orders or yesterday's orders or uh, stock whatever you want to see all the things beautifully you can design in excel is very simple steps you can put into somewhere every day if you come to office morning if you want to see yesterday's status just open that file and refresh it will go and fetch Uh, all the group companies data and it will show you report maximum by one minute if you have 20 companies also if you have larger data suppose uh, as per my experience there are many clients they are facing with tally is not uh, giving good performance it is delaying to export data uh, suppose if they have huge transaction if they want export trial balance it is giving half an hour one hour or uh, they are exporting the columnar reports it is taking half an hour yeah front end there is challenges but back end there is no challenges if you use clear structure to uh, give request to tally that will give very quickly response but existing we also use vba to vba also it is little uh, challenging task to read and construct and updating into excel again it is a time taking job but excel power query is very very powerful module if you use powerful uh, the power query uh, module it will understand xml structure uh, which uh, tally will give response quickly it will construct report and it will give you 
based on that if you know the basic of uh, m language or power query the steps if you record that and put it into your system your job is to refresh then you can able to see all the reports just i'll show you few reports then we'll see based on uh, your inputs and comments i'll give you sorry see same again to extract data from tally data new query other sources go to blank query now i want to extract purchase register here i am doing only for single company i am not doing any uh, group companies uh, data to extract just purchase report you give module ms purchase report okay advanced editor already i shared this code you no need to do anything just copy and paste it it will come data the only thing if you want range of data suppose 2 years 3 years or some one month two months there is a formula maybe if you see this code you can easily understand here i am taking from 200 days of data from current date to back 200 days of data if you want 150 days or 100 days or 30 days you just add this one this is this one only otherwise there are some other options also we can use dynamic option also from excel if you cell in sheet 1 cell 1 from date cell 2 that one that means a1 and a2 from a2 if you give based on that if you refresh that will fetch that is also possible but here i am showing this way just if you copy just you copy and paste it to this place and click it just see this will give you quick uh, response okay it is giving errors good we will debug that one so here i have hard coded company name maybe you also change in your code dynamic new you just add uh, ash as sv current company otherwise you watch this video and uh, correct it your code now it is extracting data see just where is in seconds it is fetching data for 200 days we'll see how many rows of data is there maybe you can also ask question you can connect to table or connection connection through you can connect to pivots see for 200 days there are 93 records if we have lakhs of records also it will give quicker way report we will see we will change it to 500 days again i'm confirming you i'm just showing only purchase report and sales reports in tally whatever you want you can extract using m language with faster way so 489 records in the second it is connecting suppose the same report if you want to export it from 10 it will take one to two minutes time okay we extracted purchase report dynamically suppose if you add any records i'll show you how it will update same like let's just must i created and refreshed it. we got the update similar way i'll show you here also in some larger value maybe we will see the difference yeah now it is refreshing 21st january it is giving the same value you can do formatting anything in 
here only power query editor only suppose if you want to change this to number format you can change it to number um, decimals numbers this if you want to change it to date you can change it to date here only no need to do in excel the power query will take care of it if you change there see now it is coming okay it is updating what is it based on that you can analysis you can analyze you can create dashboards you can connect this data to dashboards daily dashboards or monthly dashboard for ms similar thing will connect will extract for sales i know there are many persons they don't know they are facing challenge to extract purchase data sales data or sometimes ledger wise data for analyzing analyzing or gst purpose or 9c purpose there are some many artists you know relating to gst for that they are facing many challenges one more thing in tally we, if you have clear uh, configurations in tally you will get beautiful reports if you don't have clear cut configurations you need to depend on ledgers only or voucher types or some groups based on that only you need to extract the data columnar wise and uh, manipulating the data is is time taking job completely for that one also if you know it is a, a quarterly basis report or you need to generate or yearly based or monthly based one time job you sit and understand the structure and what are all ledgers data you need to extract or sales data or purchase data or item wise uh, that's depending on your requirement you Babu just create the query babu there is a query that you know to pull a tax rate what sure is... sir yeah one minute to convert multiple columns okay please take tax rate and do it okay so we have a should have a gst as date okay um sir extracting of uh, tax rate we need to do some another uh, script based on that we can extract if you want to extract detail item wise or hsn code wise everything it will come just we need to construct that report now, currently now i'll show you a small step yeah one minute sorry see again i recommend to use uh sql query otherwise it is a one time job you want a specific report we can construct that report also here i am showing you just for your requirement don't think i didn't configure any but we'll see you can filter on oh, it we need gst rates for uh, expense ledgers and asset ledgers okay we'll take just indirect expenses just taking this to okay there is no gst rate one minute
Yes, we got GST rate for that uh, expense ledgers. Similar way you can do, you can we can fetch this data and we can append into that particular expense ledgers or directly we can create some collections. We can construct directly required uh, report. Yes. Is it clear, sir? Then there are other reports. You practice it. We'll move to another.